I was not running away from the berry berry, just that I don't like any stuff made from coos. Well, we take your word for it, mm -hmm. surely, but uh, also berry berry was uh, a factor that would discourage anybody who has other feeding alternative mm -hmm. from eating that farm. It could be that even some other officers ate this pub. But, uh, have you ever had a prison officer who's, who uh, caught the berry berry disease, who contracted the berry berry disease? For them, any nenesu don talebang etela wa kalamuta roto for prison kono doku lalu mo suto nte kono le men nene nim berry berry ming men nene nim berry berry sotong misal kama ama akurango ya mari muda. Ana kena le ma kalamuta le. Even if it happened, I was not aware. And of course. The reasonable explanation would be that prison officers do not depend on prison food for their survival. Is uh, that not the case? As a tiko prison kono do kulalu ibuka ijiko sembe prison kono domorola as a keno wole asabu fundu amanke utibang. Mo jamal bige to ngi ngi kulunga kuluro le ka wole giron ke tere prisoner la domorola ka tuko prisoner la domoro mo fene timi alon ko ika suman ne hapolong. So we need a, 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 a part of that time we have to come to the prison. We reprimanded some officers who we caught uh, partaking in the ration of the prisoners. Because if they did that, it meant that they were denying the prisoners what was rightly theirs, and we reprimanded them. In fact, it is illegal, is it not, for prison officers to partake in the food of the prisoners? Following a man can you take a law from a balanta lale? Pro prison kono do kulalu. Eka prison ala domo rolu domo. Amani ala kela. It shouldn't happen. I would not ask you why you ate the prisoner food in Makati. I'll just leave it at that and move on to the issue of the torture. Nte yini kala mula na kaso ala domo rolu Makati. Bar bidun sila nzita kara koten. So now let's talk about the torture. In the prison system, tell us about it. Torture as in It is common knowledge, is it not, hmm. that the NIA used to come to the prison and torture prisoners? Ko, ena ela do kulalu. Kana kasola jele, kana kasola nkulu muta keta jire yaje. Nka mwele tembara, nene nyama sidi ala. Well, I used to just hear it, but I never witnessed it. And who would you hear that from? Ndu nyo mwe jumanyo lela. Nyong official, kome suro te nisomanda yina tana do kulalu, isa afwe kari wole naregane, ila ke wole naregane. From my fellow officers, who would be on night duties, if you came in the morning, they will tell you that so-and-so officers came here in the night. And? Well, I can tell you, I can think of all the people who are in the prison, and they will leave for the minke. Well, it's left to the prisoners. To tell what happened to them, because my relationship with them was not to that extent. Ah. Is it really lawful? For anyone to come to the prison and ask that a prisoner be brought out of the cells after 6 p.m. Falu ni mlua sonda ni nalako moebo na mbanta la kadunna kaso kono aya foye nko ali kaso langa fintindi na ala cello kono talang wrola katla woro tambiringo kaso la SOP kaso la rules wole ni nefenge kwa seven o'clock talla woro wola. The prison rules stipulate that after 7 p.m. all activities should cease. Do you know that for many of the cases 
of treason or sedition investigated by the NIA. They used to bring out the detainees from mile two prison at midnight or thereafter. For yani lone ko kuja masodon da maya lon ko e keta ni jam fa jaw kuma kangol leti wala ka man saka jafi wala ku fa songolo jama jama e nyili kanale prison kono ke fintindi e ila selo lu kono fo wo mukuleti e e tala woro ko la ni tala lulu ko la ase 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 keno le bari wado ni be la nyin ku Mobika ila 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 dunni la funto bika safe. It could be. Ini wo kama le kane kanko ikane safe. It could be because uh, when they embark on these activities, nobody uh, registers their entry time and their departure. They come with the instruction that that information should not be taken. And when they come with that instruction, that that information should not be recorded. What would the prison officers do. Sila nini wo kamfasongo nata ko itelana ni la ta ani be menkela je amanyan safela. Prison kono do kula lu sila itul kamuneke. Walad na wado welcoming ka ila record salt set straight drong ite to safela ba ite to to telona. So e kamin ke drong e min shoot e drong wala ila morola ni marodi ka wala muda kasa fe drong. That is why to set records straight since they do not have names to write down. The only thing that they can uh, recognize would be the number, number plate of the vehicles, and that is what they usually would write down. Uh, would, is that, in fact, setting the record straight, or is it not buckling to pressure and not doing what one is supposed to do? Mosaje ko amunta detendiro yole le kang wala ye silandi wale ya kendi ibe kulu samba kangu nyama ko eka kete nyame. Alo detendiro detendiro long detendiro long kato ko fomi ya long ko niya ki abina kile la abina samba babu ya la manda masibo la so amanjari yebula ono makani wande la masibo la bina la wana jero. It's pressure because this is something that if you follow and do it. It will lead to your calamity, and uh, nobody will do that. Uh, it, it, in fact, goes beyond pressure. It is fear of implementing the rules against uh, certain officers of the state. Atambita silandi rolele, amunta atambita detendi rolele, amunta silandi rolemu. Puru kakuodo lutamandi umulu kama meni alonko iniwo kamfasongo lukana kasola je kafu ebe mansale koma. Ah, se awo basic eno le. Yes, all of that could be. Aseke eno le o fo wele keta no. Wele keta. Aha. Would it be or was it the case? That was the case. Could could we have an answer recorded in English? That was what happened. Mm -hmm. uh, and not only would the NIA come to the prison and torture prisoners there or take them out of the prisons unlawfully and torture them elsewhere, as in the NIA headquarters, but also Prison officers have occasionally participated in torture of prisoners. Is that not right? Hodun amanke nyinti ko ena ela mulu kanaji ika e kasolam kulu muteke tajireya je walla ye fintindi ye samba ye taibe menkelela ya kela amanda woto de bari tumodo lu kasolam kulu menu bedu kula kasoko no ulufanga ulufanali ke da bula woto tajireya tule tumodo lu fonte. Aketa le kado ko tocho ni aji be tocho entela miro entela jero tocho manke kafu ke kebulu la mo kanda madron. Akuma kano wado ni afu mo e tocho long. Kenya do bi ni aki mo la tocho long. Akuja maleke regero so mo ta fu no ko tocho manke jero. It happened because tocho, as I see it, is not just beating up somebody or laying your hands on another person. There are things you may say to someone or some actions you may take towards some some individual which can be classified as tocho. Uh, yes, I agree with what you have said, but let's first talk about the classical definition of torture itself. 
that is the unlawful beating of, of people or unlawfully uh, uh, putting, uh, applying violence on individuals that may also amount to torture. Let's talk about that particular type of torture at the prisons. It happened. Yeah, but Tilimbali <laughs> Ya reporto di ko prison official bigere muni alon ko e sambale ko majeto e muray e bude jero ko mode balana no la to nyalo wodi i had this information but i was not present i there were some prison uh, prisoners who complained that they were taken behind the, the building by some officers and beaten nobody can deny that happening in fact there is a particular prison officer who is occasionally referred to as chief torturer and as a don't talk prison do kula luko no maya lonko what in what at a phone mumu leti menka kaso lankulu tajire aje hanufo e kafa and go tajire keba bigele katu de fonga la kuya no makende ke la ala le na ta makwe do mana du la jalo ko no doron katu ko ye na kuol do male kende ke is there even myself bigele they pursued me but just by the grace of god i was not uh, i did not fall into their net but they pursued me a lot and uh, in fact, uh, there is this pending cases of torture uh, by prison officers against some of the inmates, in, in particular uh, Laminja. Do you recall that? Yes, I know that there is a lot of people who are in the country. There is a lot of people who are in the country. There is a lot of people who are in the country. There is a lot of people who I mean, Jala Kuo Malo Bake, but a prisoner Bigele, Kadu, no prisoner killing from Kalamote, a five fallu sise, or for all Dena Kuro and Nasi and Kajara Kumo Fungele, Koya Samba Official Komale, Ya Alipajira, the official door for the Munia Alipajira, I will be for Yele. I am not very open with the case of Palu Sise, Laminja, but there is a particular prisoner called Palu Sise who, who told me that he was taken behind the buildings and beaten by some officers. He even gave them the names of those officers. And during the time of David Coley, were these incidents of torture ever investigated? David Coley la watu abe mararin kaso la tumu mena. Watajire ya fasongulu. Fodung, anene soton talibanga yeulu kulu kisi kisi lebang? Anene ma investigate. Katunga kalamuta one report le watu mombe interior one report le nasa njeto during the visiting committee meeting all. It was never investigated. But I can recall while I was at the interior, a report came by the visiting committee. Prisina a prisina a prison officer do accuse ko a prisoner lipale fa adam fa karoto there was an accusation against one particular prison officer that he beat up one prisoner and even kicked him on the, on the side but i did not get to hear the case proceeding that was where it ended uh, in fact uh, there is this case of ibrahim ajouf that happened in 2015 that may be the case you're referring to in which one officer stamped on the ribs uh, of the victim, Ibrahim Ajouf. He was kept in confinement and he died two days later. Do you recall that? I said, I don't know if I was in the prison of Aketa Ibrahim Ajouf. Because I was in the prison of the prison officer, I was in the prison of the prison officer, and I was in the prison of the prison officer. I was in the prison of the prison officer, I was in the prison of the prison officer, I was in the prison of the prison officer. Tony, I don't know if I was in the prison of the prison officer, but I was in the prison officer. It's a name that I cannot recall to confirm whether or not, but such an incident did occur. Uh, this particular case, was it investigated as far as you know? Never happened. Uh, in fact, not only are these cases not investigated, uh, but the crimes associated with them 
uh, were covered up by the prison administration. Among Kenyan government, the government has been doing a lot of work. But the government has been doing a lot Kasola kun nyaton kol na do kulalu ina take molleti men ya lonko ye nyin kol fonde ke kulol leti ye mabo imana ako nyin banke kotake o birin falingo ketale o kunya rawa nyar it was after the change of government that the, the thing came out in the public uh, no mr witness uh, perhaps one could rightly say that it is after the change of government that people are willing to talk about it but the fact was known during the time of Jame, correct? Nimukulet Maya Lonko, Hanijan Niman Sakundae Falling, Ninkulu Dolua Nyar Telewotumo, Amuntale Molemang Akodia Munun Jamela Wato Bari, a banke Telewotumo, Bari Jamela Man Sakunda Kolalem, Munata Soto Molunata Soto Kakumofo, Ka Fintindi, Ka Banke, Kanfa Kumo Janjanta, Ponte. Ah, well, um, yes, that is it. And uh, the cover up was not just limited to uh, not talking about it, but also it involved the falsification of documents, correct? Among Kenyan Damati, Puruka, Akoi Nung, Ka Mabo, Bari, and Atakanyan Fanantico, yet Tapale Kaito Ludale, many Alonka Denta Wokola, Menmukus Kaiti Sotobalolti, Tapale Akije, four Mankavan. I mean, Kaiti Nyari, Dr. Rola Kaiti Rola Bamfo. What kind of uh, documents are you referring to, doc uh, doctor's uh, documents? Uh, we would come to that. For every death in the prison, their paperwork needs to be to, need to be made, isn't it? Mbina Otole, Bari, Saya Wosaya Keta Kasola. For Kaiti Obu Kasoto, Menka Dada Wosaya La Kuakam. Ah, autopsy report, Kasotole. Yes, there is usually an autopsy, an autopsy report. In, in fact, the procedure is there should be a coroner's inquest. Isn't, isn't that the case? And when I came in at the phone call, I knew that Saya knew that Kolo Lankena Maleka from a coroner's inquest, Kako knew that Lankena Maka Jube Menketa Aketa Nyaming. Phone dung wo Menketa Wallet Bank. Corona inquest. Denga mera. Denga mera kala mota. Denga dam male pesta wala. Kabirina nga direct ya soto prisina bandajero. Nga corona nga request ke for corona invest inquest. Dada pesta magister wala bangul magister court nga evidence odi jero. Nga mera kabirawa wala nene mwa corona inquest mo in prisons anymore again. Well, the only time I came across corona inquest was when I was director myself and a prisoner died, I had to go to court in Banjul to face the magistrate. But apart from that, I have never had corona inquest in the, in the prison system. And that happened in 2017 or 2018? Around 2018, I think. 17, 18, I think. 17, 18, I think. And, and that was the death of Mr. Luis Gomez, right? Or, or Lise, yeah? That was it, yes. And uh, for all those deaths that occurred during um, this uh, uh, David Coley's time, there was no coroner's inquest. Saya lumenu beketa David Coley la time. O kisikisiru fasongo lumanke je kawo fureo la kuo jibe menkete la saya daliloti kapo me coroner's inquest. Anena manke? Nene maka la mora. I am not aware of. In fact, the basic, one of the basic requirements, a, uh, uh, a post-mortem, was not done in most of the cases. Is that right? Well, men from Moko County, well, I'm not going to name more further. Because we do be muneketa mune mungule nyimfa for who will follow the neketa lebang. The post-mortem la ke na la ke balia tumando akasum family la family mo lebolo. Sometimes, well, post-mortem is, whether it happens or not, mostly is dependent on the respective families. Sometimes the, 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 family members. the, the family members do not want such thing to happen to their loved one. Uh, that is the case, but we have you recall that uh, together with the investigators, you have examined the files of uh, 41 individuals who died in the prisons, and a lot of them, many of the documents are missing. 
Eh, Tonya omu kule tibari alie eh, saya afoso ngulu tana nini nkili njubele menu kataka suwala. Bari itatata lako uolu kaiti uolu jamaa bije ila kaiti walube yema ndine muma o kaiti waluje. Um, o kaiti, kaiti mawo prisin kono omu problemo ldijero. Proper record Proper record keeping in the prisons is difficult, and that has ever been a problem. In fact, uh, a particular investigator came to the prisons, and they were uh, following up one case. They looked at the book which had the record. They saw it, but they could not get the, 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 the proper documents for the matter. And so they, they were asking what was the matter. I can just say that there is impropriety in the whole business. Uh, but uh, the, that impropriety would involve disappearing documents in order to cover up crimes committed by prison officers. Wale koto mwenye ntiko, kasi wala lukula lusoto ndali meni ya lonko, ikawo kuru yake, puru yu kuru ya menketa wanya, ya kuoke suturoti ya mabo, eh, wala na wakufo songo lukake kaito li njilibu kaje? Ah, wala. Yes, that is it. And not only would they disappear documents to cover up their crimes, they also falsify information in order to cover up their crimes. Amanke nyenda mandi, ika kaito li ye mandi, all of that could have happened. It happened. I'll give you examples. Baba Job is said to have died from uncontrolled HBT and malaria. But the evidence received before this commission is that Baba Job was murdered but by strangulation, strangulation uh, with a prison officer standing guard outside, outside the hospital. Uh, room where he was killed by suffocation and strangulation. Prison officer it is only now that we are knowing that. But before, we held the belief that he died of natural causes. And if it were not for the TRC... It only now for the but it had discussed the money. So it only had a school at the those who did it, they will know, and they are the only ones who can say why they, they, they made the prison officers to stand where, where he stood and the, the fact that they took efforts to hide it. And up till now, nothing is known about the whole issue. Yeah, so, but you would agree that if the papers we received from the prisons show that he died uh, out of uh, malaria as a result of malaria. Obviously, uh, this is a falsification in which the prison has participated. I think the, the condemnation should not, should not only be directed solely to the prison officers because Baba Job did not die at the prison. He died, 
ye baba la baba la fure examine na ta je ko e baba ngine ya fa ile kada kaito de dami alon ko ma fa o to ite la professeur ngine ta question ma kala la he died in a particular place which was handled by particular people the doctor who examined baba how could he have written that baba died of natural causes then that doctor probably did not know his work in fact i am not limiting uh, responsibility to just the prison. I am just suggesting that this was a conspiracy by various entities and individuals aimed at uh, uh, fabricating evidence uh, about what happened. Amanda, you agree? Ntebe kwenye samba kanya ming mang tu miro la bunda kilinkande. Bari memfintita wole mnyinti bunda jama lebulo bakono animolu meni alonko eteleyo baroke amunda sila wo bunda lu ani meni yo baro ke wolle be da be nyin kuru ya kono fere sitiri ngolom fere sitiri ngolom kar ni ekol be jibi asara nyaami isa ne ko fenomia lon ko da mangole nyomo ne it was a conspiracy because if you look at the whole thing how it happened you will know that they were in in agreement as they did what they did and for somebody like Ibrahim Ajouf, who died in the prison in 2015, after he was stamped on the ribs by prison officers, if you look at the rep rep reports, there was also a falsification. The yeah. report said he died out of chronic illness. Ne aju be Ibrahim Ajouf la kuwa nyin keta nyami, ye men damfu akaroto, hanu fo kolu kola natafa, andu afata kaso la jeli. But it led a kite old men of Indy, a co or mayo fa, Willem Alasaya, Keta, Daro, Letty Maya Lonco, Aketa, Willaketa Alasaya, Sababoti, and what a new Jube Woto, Votapaleo, Tapalea, Dunto, Kaito, Fernando Menda, Alasaya, Gula Kuokama. And he signed the Bembulo Chodila, a Munia Kaito Dada. Up till now, I appoint my accusing fingers to the people that prepared that document. I do prison man qualified a nurse lefon sort of a doctor. Because the prisons do not have a qualified nurse, much more a doctor. Uh, but, but the point I am referring to is the fact that the prison authorities knew that Ibrahim Ajouf was tortured two days before his death by prison officers. Amunta ndebe dame mnu makang, wole mnyinti ko, uo kaso la nyato nkolu, itiliyalo na ko, ya Ibrahim Ajouf tajire yale, uo tajire ya kola, tilifula kola anatafa, itilube ya ulone, Londo betul bulu silang ukola lo mika na ukai tisu to balu dada. Kami ingkar mimpi saya dengan kami. Kami ekor kami longa kita. Ani saya ukur konspirasi lebih kita. Wanyo cokilu nyu kuriya cokinyo lo lebih terlagi ro. Ete alam mimpi kita ingin apa kapri saya mimpi kita ete kanan dila ete tau ya ya fai. Wei tak kai ro dera mi alam masro. Ani saya ingat tilimbali tilimbali ingin tata ufana fana lari. Yes, that's the conspiracy I'm talking about. Because if somebody like that dies in the prison. Those who were responsible for um, uh, making those documents, they are also part of the conspiracy because they knew rightly what happened or what killed that person. Uh, but sometimes, too, non-disclosure on the part of the prison officers as to what happened in prison could lead to a misinformation of those doctors who would eventually examine the body. But as he came Kasola, why are you Kasola? Kono, but it tell me that the bar on your feet in the la. Imana, who sort of ring of feet in the court? Because I'm imana for what doctor role you are going to attend. What to say? You can't be. What doctor role? Why are you among the only alive malong? As a keno, we'll find a little bit of kaito mendala. We'll see keno, we'll see loti. Hanifu, we'll feel on that. We'll see kono. Why are you among the only alive malong? As a keno, we'll find a little bit of kaito mendala. We'll see keno, we'll see loti. Hanifu, we'll feel on that. We'll see kono. Why are you among the only alive malong? What dalilu financing turn on jail? Ma mira, prison officer, we told you that. Yeku ke fongo dangi ya mina kuwezele aki adu wale sunda ni na sababu la paka pe ira lo doctor ni asimu leka yuko ngani leka la wala na fikir na duka raki ring. I don't think a prison officer would be that foolish to do something which he knows that he is the cause of it would go to the doctor and then dictate to him or her what to write. Well, perhaps maybe we are missing the point here. Wouldn't the prison officer have a duty to disclose to the hospital what actually happened to the victim in the prison following you manke prison do kula la nyanto de ko nim kuketa mo la kaso ko no menke tala saya sababoti fo ni manke siloti pour ateta ka to nyafo ko ni ne keta nyin na ni ne keta la saya daliloti fo wote kenol wala ngenda kela brata kela that is what should happen but he will not do it 
And this is what we are trying to get to. And what are the things that they were doing wrong or unlawfully? Walem quote in left a foot at Adam in Bukat, Walem quality by men who cake and men in silo mantanola. And it's not limited to these people that I have just named. Lamara Najalo, for instance, he was also tortured by prison officers and he died a few days later. And uh, the medical report came and said that he died out of cardiorespiratory arrest and things like that. But he was tortured and he died in the hands of prison officers. Amanda Woda Mananga Menu for Tem Mofanan Sotun Taika for me Lamara Najalo. Uo fanang ya tajire yale kala ka tilimbali ya konyi nkola anatafa. Bari kaitu wa melina atafinti ya njina foje yeko, sisi suko wa nini jibali ya wole kitala saaya sababoti, eh, iteliole safi yeko wole afa. Andu ni, ni ajube tajire ya kibaro melina atafinti ya tajire yale hanufo wole kitala saaya ati. Uh, nyi lamara nila kupenko nyi mang, uh, uh, tumando awato mantele gedo. Bari kuoku afuta gendo kumi prisina tinkolea aksorata mail chule nu. The case of... Damanda prisina kwa damala. Hani officer kwa mbila kwa konole. Uman to receive al konole. Officer muda tale tinkolea gendo. Ulbe kita mwobe nyala gire. The case of Lamarana Jalo, perhaps when it was happening, I was not there. But to talk of brutality in the prisons, it was an occurrence which was very frequent. Even officers were caught brutalizing people there. And ultimately, who would, to whom would you attribute responsibility for torturing prisoners during this period, 1994 to 2017? What to say? It was two mil bulu kumba chodi la jumale la menu mu to kolti kasola. Many ko kabot 1994 Mwenye mchoki nyo loti, Ibrahim Ajame ni David Kulitema, ni alo? Mela bari ya nebari, Ibrahim Ajame ka kibiri ngini ya nukade bora royal family le. I do not know how related they were, but Ibrahim Ajame used to boast that he was from the royal family. And what did you understand him to mean when he said that he was from the royal family? Na kate bora royal family le kono, wole mu lasili, senu memu lasili nyato nkoti. Ite la okoto, ite mune fahamoto. Olo mu? That is to say that he is from those that were in power. Who was he referring to specifically? The former president. And by saying that he was a member of the royal family, uh, what was he insinuating when he suggested that? Na atekalo akafuko atebota o lasilo le kono royal family in lasilo ala kumu koto amunda silang atebe mune lanke na makangu nyaka kaitandi mulula sembo awa was he not in fact suggesting that he was above the law amunda silang kumu koto momenti fodum amanke ni netiko woto atebe lua e santo lale tambira atambira wala le kato it was more than that, because there were many things that Ibrahim did which were in contravention of the law. Did anything come out of it? Nothing came out of it. Could you give us examples? Did you say the day that I brought that officer from interior to mile two, when I came and informed David after that, that day, Ibrahim Jame conducted a big operation at mile two. He went into the cells and the medi med medication of the prisoners, their holy Qurans, their milk tins and their tea bags, 
Ibrahim ya Shembo kana be wa fatina ngiri dala ya muta ya be fundidi banda. Ibrahim forcefully took this from them and brought them out. Obe Ibrahim kala Shembo le tande ka fe ngomi alon ko atinta le prisina man blu soro aman sin soro. O fe ngomi be na tane ngeto mole na fe na sa ko boro boro kuma ri nyami. Ibrahim was showing his power because the prisoners they are like people who have no legs or hands. Anything that goes in there is what comes out from the outside from well wishers. What was his reason for doing that? What, no. uh, what connection does that have with the uh, person you brought from uh, interior to, to Malta? Mun dalila le ya sabu ate barata wala aning mun choki nyola le beje e nying kolu tema ete mem bondi nang interior kanati kasola je wolio nyoso to nyadile. Aning wa wa ni wolu wale benda. It coincided. The bringing of the prisoner coincided with this operation that he conducted that day at the prison. And uh, your view is that what he did was unlawful. That was very unlawful. Uh, you suggested that he he had a relationship with David Coley wherein they would conspire to do things. Is that what you suggested? Namanda is in Foko I choking your lole soto walla I den your bayale soto and in David Coley. Wellana eka ding eka nying tajire a kolu tamandi fodung wolem koti bang. I can go in the in the mial and telemalaki but in the hangila or kushi vacila. Yes, even me who was his superior, I will not have that courage to do such a thing. In fact, if I do that, it will not tell well on me. But not only were those the prop only problems in the prisons, there was also discrimination Amun against female officers. Is that not the case? Amunda kolu manda wo fananade. Fatam fanso be kerin ne molu kama meni alonko wole musudo kula luti meni alonko be kasola duko la utumu. Ying fatam fanso manda musol damala wo ai mo bele ma. The discrimination was not only limited to the women folk, it touched everyone else. Could you further explain that? Oi si demande um fonyo no woto fanang ka bonye nyoto. David la julo ni ma dong ina bikatano. If you do not dance to the tune of David, you will not be able to move along with him. Oh atel after me na na gelda. Whatever he wants, if he laughs. Ala ko ko saw. Or if he tells you to jump. Manjari ayini ka be saw na mi do not ask him the obstacle you are jumping over. You will ask him how many meters am I to jump. That is where you will be in a good uh, relationship For with him. female officers who would not jump, how would they be treated by David? Well, Musol de ma mira wole bataka ala ala marola ba ke kadu ko molo mi ala tiri mal musol de hani labanga la fanga odli na rakhe musol de. I don't think women suffered a lot during his tenure because he's someone who likes to be in the company of women. In the end, all these odlis were women. Uh huh. So musol aseke no le yalo musol ling ifangol man na ifamfo. Motel a battle on the Kadumusuyam Fenet Mia along for a confident abacal, so Momang and Dunaila Kula Baka, but in Alnoko Yela Toro, if an Ila Toro sort of David Bulle, but he put Kana Karaka a Satamway Takela. It could be that they also had some difficulties in relationship with him, but they, are, they may not be willing to talk about it, given that uh, the issue of women sometimes is too delicate. But it could be that they also had their troubles with him. Is it not the case that some women suffered in his hands because they would not dance to his tunes? Farman can you dico, Musodo Luson Talemenu Batata, Alla Kangokang, Katu, Imanson Tamala at La Kangola, the laughter in Menkam, Imansola? Upon Namusudori and said Gator, but Hani saying, Nari and said now in a devil time or I for you, but I for you the Lumina, Abigas Ramoy, Hani B. In fact, I recently reinstated one woman who resigned during the era of David Coley. But I have tried to inquire from her the reasons for her, uh, retire, her retiring from, from the work, but up till now, she is not willing to tell me what it was. 
that, that matter is the subject of special investigations by the commission. Uh, we would call evidence on that. Uh, so that brings me uh, to the uh, last point in, uh, in uh, my examination, um, which is the issue of the low level education of prison officers. Between we must call it me alone. Come so many young from Bella, Kisi Kisi Ro Kela, Musola, Karola. But we only have to end it. Now, dear Mola, Fana Labangoto. We only have to go. We do call it the Jamaica. We no more than we many alone. Ila ko makamu amanke kuti mensele tasando. We do do malang call the moruti. We must call it me alone. Laftole Jibela. From all the statements. I have looked at. It appears to me that the prison officers generally have very low level of education. Mostly, the highest level would be secondary school. Is that not the case? Montana na jube roto nga memkrosije. Gulam nyinti ko nyin kasola du kulalu mo jama be kono ila londo dango do yata bake anasita menno fangalo yalon ko efficiata do mande wollem men yalon ko itata foy futata secondary karambu mo bandu lato fo bitun wo kolu be wo nyame mo nya fo wonte kuti men be keri numba wolam 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 sodata that was it it's not their fault uh, but it is quite clear that even high school education was non-existent for the prison officers. Amanke kuti koi telefonle menke, but karambumba oning high school alondo wofang mukule ti meya alonko kasola du kulal jama bije imango makamu wofang soto. Osoro dal nung jawara la watu la nung ya kumasi nung ka cadet officer down from high school. That used to happen during the time of Jawara. They started recruiting cadets from the high schools. Oh, the late Antu Sedi Bolokona and Njibu Seka. Amongst them were the late Antu Sedi and Njibu Seka. And only two of them. Two of them, yes, at that time. And only two of them, up to now, until uh, you have this new guy from who has a master's degree. Amunta adanta umuflo de malela hanufo nimo nata soto meya longo. Ate ya master's degree makamu soto London la Karola. Wakola nga officers soto muni alam kwe kaji high school le. After that we had officers who graduated from high school. But they became a hit ni tano. But they were not always able to sustain the pressure. Atuko ebika ila nyanto di le ngenta doko kila nyamina. Because they never gave them the freedom to do the work they are, they are, the way they are supposed to do it. Danga ngine sobo soto jeko prison mudlaldi special David la time mo mo ya alonka alonko eteni makamu na tena eni lono na tena. I have this suspicion, especially during David's time, that anyone who came there who was somehow highly educated. Itebe jengkela le. You'll be put aside. Because the fear was that you'll eventually get to replace him. I can recall I once conducted one selection. Selection on exam set. After the selection, they set the exams. Exam After the exams, those who passed, we took their list. And we also prepared a list for those that failed. A list was submitted. After we submitted the list, uh, I was then surprised. Those that failed, Nara will get training school. Or. I eventually saw them at the training school. Pass. Those that passed, well, dan -dan -nga will get, uh, training, training school. Or. I saw only a few of them at the training school. So why did they not go to the training school? So what this tell, told me was that at that time education really was not mat, uh, was not uh, was did not matter. As a child growing up, that's what we used to hear about depot education no matter. <laughs> but maybe it was also a slogan at the prison. <laughs> education no matter. Ni man kawo sando moyle nung education no matter o kakofono depole. But ha sila wode nsa fono la kawo le be kerin nung kaso falanna. Asembo wa regera si regero. It was very very. Strong there. Did you raise the alarm bell that those who passed were not selected for that training? 
fodum imam fereke pour ka ñi lanke na mako men ñe ñi londi konti bo gagné ima woluta adi ala le ngay tan dal ko ñu lay appel ñu lay pass we gave him the list telling him that these are the ones that passed and these were the ones that failed yata ngi def ñi xamna lu may def man may def man makoy def suba bu fa legi but he said to me i know what i am doing in fact i am going to personally do it myself ay nda bo ndigeto fere so he removed us from it completely and so he did these things the way he wants them did you report to government so do ya ko mo kibaro di man sakundala le ba de bole ro ke no kare wodo mombe do ko ya tele ko tonu i couldn't report him because at that time i was working directly under him uh, talking about slogans there's another slogan at the prison ni ya sandolo fo sandalo fo non sodon tele ka men fo non kasola that it's better for a prisoner to die in the prisons than a prisoner to escape because if a prisoner dies no matter nobody answers for that but if a prisoner escapes all of you would be held responsible fo wo sandolem nyinti ko ab fisiata le pour kasola ko e fa kasola wala fisiata dina amari kana ka to nin kasola ko kanata men yalon ko wolbe akuna je ka so kunna amun ta wolbe be number o soto lale o se ke no le ka do to mo mi begir mo mi begir ma sa yagel no ka fa ko wolbe ma ta jawol le tino that could have been kana o de kala e o de kala ko ijirinti no that could have been the case because uh, those that were incarcerated in prison were seen by those in government as their enemies and so for one of them to escape was not going to be easy could have or was the case asi keno fodum wala mu koti num bang o se keno kadu ne mo moy bile mbo moy la gendo it could have been because i never heard it today is the first time hearing it was it not the case that debts in the prison were always covered up faman ke nyindi ko ni sa ya keta kasola jama jama e ka ko ni nunne moto balena wala kadu ko ni prisina komi ya report ko mole prisina muta ya dam fo akaro da karo kata report ta ra tandi ko prisina fata malaria la wodo ko baro plowdi no one can deny that because if a report is given that someone was kicked and they suffered broken ribs and died and then the report from the hospital states otherwise then obviously it is a cover up so for that in the prison nobody was held responsible to wolam nyinti ko ni sa ya ke takaso la obito atu mo bu kala mo kan nene ma obisa ji min tumal wala ya charge ko atele prisina prisina la sa ya sunda tel la nene ma aseke de bari nene ma kala mo da i have never seen any officer that has been accused or even charged for the death of any prisoner i have never seen that so the first part of the slogan held true amunta wo sando ala follow du la nyen wolam to nyaati death in the prison nobody is responsible saya na kata kasola e ibu katu miro la moka yes but when it came to escapes all of you would be responsible bare nin kano kata kasola ko kanota oto melu bebe akun na kantarola wo aduno kala wulu bele kan escape wo de wo kanya de on de bakel escape used to frighten me a lot uh you would agree with me that The prison in Gambia is a terrible place to be in. Ibe sonan maleko kaso Gambia je mudding kra sangara baliti banko kan. Nundo before still. Fokana bula sai na hanibi. Time call yo fata gele. Things are a little bit lax at the moment. Yes, a little bit. but still terrible amanke amanke do mandi fo ngodi a yo fo bata gele it's not a little bit in fact it's much much mr mane this is not an indictment of you mm. as a person it's an indictment against the system uh, that the prison in this country is terrible ni manke kala mi roti conditions are terrible ni manke kala mi roti ye men wulindi ti kam ni mukulet membe kering kasola system on ying kono amanke kala mi roti pour wite de bar kulo membe kering nu amunda sai wolam nyinti ko wolam wolam koti be lanke na bakan ah a bole nya ma bari nga mera e katol be kering ne yes ka je ko pour ka wol be e e to be nya ma ka do nyal ya kala mota ni ss arme be kering den prison act fond a be review kan ne sai den Yes that is the way things were but efforts have been put in place to make things better 
you don't have to wait for a prisons act to be reviewed and finalized before you improved on the conditions the physical conditions of the prison aman kenyin tiko alinyanta batulale hanufo kasola lua nyi ya jube purka falin mkolu nyanta kelale katakolu nyanta kelale purka jako kolbe larin kasola nyamin ay falin kole ay boje wala nanko yiruwa ketale improvement ketale wara hani prison among finalized for wara hani ya yiruwa be kekane nga fonga fenye mi alon ko ase keno yiruwa di ndol be kama sabatu wala as a human being are you satisfied with the conditions in the prisons in this country ko ite mo hadama dinguti nyami amunta say ni muite e kolu lanya kendoleti kolu be larin ka soko no nyami nyin tembe ni ani no thank you very much in barabad and the commission would welcome to hear views from you as to how the conditions in the prison or the institutional arrangements could be improved uh, and for that you can take your time and send us some written written memorandum on that subject sometime in the future no problem thank you very much thank mr chair the witness ah bitun sayen kaya fo nyame si wato ta ite be ya marolu menu dile ite lafta falin kandolu yemen ke kasola si wato ta nyaton to purka kaito safe ye o kinan commission ye inshallah mbakira agors grace i will do it uh thank you very much my council and uh, thank you mr mane for your testimony and uh, for coming to testify before the uh, commission before i give the floor to uh, other members of the commission i just want to find out from you if you were around in mile 2 um november 2014 when uh, juan mendes uh, a world renowned human rights expert um a colleague of mine led a team that came to the gambia here ako janninga be silo di la commission alo la proye nyinin carol ka wala kuma fo 2014 at a fond teri soton ta memu mo to bori mbati me yalon ko anim molu nata kana e kasola ka ka bi koli jibe fodum wo yetara jele ban 2015 wala 14 kadu 2000 be indire wato me na nga kala mota non ko human side la timo do na tanu mail tunu pour que na visite la no jeno when i was at the interior i got word that a human rights team came to the prisons to make a visit inata na ni la dal lon ka du yela dal te tombo ne ni ndata la dame do ka inata na ne ko ila fata la security win le when they came they had already been pointed the areas they wanted to visit and when they came they put it in the fenko they they blade in the samba ko ngero bari pour que access dila kata ila fata dame ne man sonje la they said that they wanted to visit the security oh, wing nga o kala modale but when they came in they were denied that access they were only allowed to enter into the main hall that one i was aware well that's the point i really want to mm -hmm. ask him if you were directly involved because uh, the human rights summer council in geneva had uh, negotiated with the government of the gambia the terms of reference for one and his summer team uh, to come for a visit here one mendes was uh, at that time special rapporteur on uh, torture and uh, summary executions ko tumo nyin kambe soto ndaka bi geneva ko mendes atelom nyaton ko tinu wotumo me yalon ko atelom ki barol no ma satalar ni bankelati nyin tajire ya ko la karola wala na wo anala ka fo mulu na tanan jung pour kana o kumpa borola kasola wala na mba ko no ma sata kan pour ka along akata nyamin wolem ko ti me yalon ko akata wotumo wato wato mantere ji nga nga ki baro mere that time i was in there i only heard the news they were denied access to name the uh, detainees and uh, also uh, denied access to the security wings so you can't um, throw any light on exactly what happened uh, yeah. at that time if you were in tama there otumo e balantale pour e ye modolu je menu tolu fo andu e balantale fang pour ni mole futa security wing wala na ning wayri o tembo ayatara ete mantara mari le njela eh uh, wato holem nyindi ko etete kuma fono la wo kolto men yalon ko wolle tamata je wo tembo but did you know who exactly 
um, gave orders that they be denied access to the security wing. Did it go far up, the president, or didn't go that far? Follow, nying akatanya mingfo. Isi fenfono leka foko jumale ye Bali. The futola security wing anil after men na men ye baliala. For a kulum yinti me alonka a seleta sandu le kata hanupo, president la kulu to bangwala, men ye bali a kuala foisi, londi soto a kuolo. Ah, David Wurmori akala e Yamaroja Mabata interior lenum, interior ministry lenum. Well, at the time, David used to take his instructions from the interior department. Well, if you were at the interior department, were you consulted? Nibenu interior watu mo folu imangu mafuta ndi tema watu mo mafuta tema watu mato wangu yente sambaje le kumi yenge kwenye le dorong yente sambaje le nafau nafal tena gero no word excess staff le mundi gedal no word on that issue came to me I was posted at the interior minister ministry just as a way of taking me out of the scene I was not serving any useful purpose at the ministry. At that senior level where you left the prison, it is more than in the interior ministry. You were hopeless at the ministry. Mon commissioner, and so far the most senior commissioner in the prisons. I was a commissioner, so far the most senior commissioner in the prisons. Thank you. Uh, commissioners, if you have any questions. Commissioner Carr, you have the floor. Then I'll come to you. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Jata, for your testimony. Mr. Jata or Mane? Mane. Sorry. Mr. Mane. Mr. Mr. Jata, I last said Mr. Mane. Um, I seem to mix your name with the other prison officer who came here. I'm sorry for that. I have four questions I want to ask. Left in in Kalakuman and the Barisa Hakatu, it only Molole to me, Duntam Lunoto, Menata Nunsediaro Lajan. We've had previous witnesses who came here and uh, narrated instances. And we also had testimony from other witnesses. Where it seemed that they were prison officers who violated the rights of, of prisoners. And who violated the rights of prisoners. Uh, the, question, the first question I want to ask is, do you have any procedure for prisoners to report cases where they feel that uh, prison officials violated their rights? Follow me, Soton Tale, Purkasolan Kolu. Isi la wasi dalu fonole ni misali kama kasola dukula luye la nyanto lutinya. Fo isi o wasi o keno le bang. Fo be keri ne nuto mo. Manta ra keri no. Anya ta keri no ya me ne wole ngendi kome ning oversight body sold me ya lo kweka na prison is kono visiting la. It was not existing at the time. But the way it should have happened is that the oversight committees that used to come to the prisons for visit. Like ning human right. And then you think a visiting committee. Like the human rights and the visiting committee. Visiting committee, la mandate or domain, they come in what doing in the Tala Caso Kondreka Jebe around in Pisna Lidiamo. They have amongst their mandate to occasionally go to the prisons and have discussions. Come with prisoner found a member caring. And to hear first time from the prisoners as to what is taking place. And also their situation. Prisoner address. So that they can address that. And also their situation. Prisoner they can address that. So that they can address that. I will find what or put a silo dealer put it a casual coin in prison and the amount I can do hold but even at that sometimes it is difficult for those bodies to be given access to be able to meet the prisoners and to get to hear what their problems are so all on problem what you know so that was the problem it's not still a problem of satan you need a drone will let me move forward in money along any problem also rock i do all over the the prisoners can only tell their problems to the very people with whom they have the problem in that case, when they report these matters to the prison officials, so nothing is done. Even if something happens, in the end, you don't know where it ends. You cannot differentiate between the tail and the head. 
Thank you. That answers the other questions. Maybe just a suggestion in your closing remarks, mm -hmm. if you can uh, further throw light on this and suggest to this commission how um, we can have internal me mechanisms in the prisons to ensure that uh, when there are alleged violations of the rights of prisoners, um, it can be also addressed internally. Thank you. Lumbara, ila o jabiro, we na yinin kardo lu jabile lafta meno yinin kala no barbitun silan. Ila kacha kono bini bela kumolo kumfala. Ifanansi ni ya markolo dino nale ko kasola iyanta mumfere le sotona pour que ce soit colo ni la nyanto lu tinyata itel fanalu be wasi o la nyamengi be wasi la jumanyo le wo bunda nyanta sotona le kaso kono me yalon ko asitara lori thank you um deputy deputy you have the floor please munda chairman no lan ko le Thank you. Uh, witness, good afternoon. Okay. My question is, I have several actually. Yeah. Was, was David Curry the only DG throughout the period 1994 to 2017? For David Curry. David Curry, the Malum Director General to Wuchi Umume Ubekono, Kabu 1994, Kana 2017. David, I see David had five stints at the top. What did you get a carbon delayed? What did you get a Sometimes he's removed and after a short while reinstated. In the interim, they will bring in someone amongst them was. Modlamin Jaju, Yonafina Wolokono. Modlamin Jaju was brought in. The late Auntie Rose Clue Wolokono. And the late Auntie Rose Clue was amongst them. Bora Colli Bolokono. Bora Colli was also amongst them. Modusise Fanabo Wolokono. Modusise also was amongst them. David Kabujere, what he did, what he did, Yamurunina. David used to live after a short while. Is brought back. And each time he returns, it was always not a peaceful stint for people because he comes in a combative mood. But the people that took over, interim, what did they do to improve the lot of the prisoners during their time of office? wo molu menno kenati niate bondije wala o wato ndingo me kakije folu ibu ka kuke me yalon ko aske ko lu sono yandi rawti ibe menke la kasola ba a e di led ati rosklu wala wato wadi sudu ngai wala kedido adu wato man tregido wato na be peace keeping mission na da fo di led anti rosklu was in charge for a short while but at that time i was on a peace mission in dalfo ari nga moy wala wato je do prisonal bele contenta but I heard that during her tenure, all the prisoners were happy. Because she would go personally to the kitchen and supervise the preparation of the food. I was aware of that. The they gave me that information. Thank you. Do you know what beriberi is? In Umbara. Beriberi dum yalo neba. Very, very common own definition of thinking I'm willing in the coming tomorrow me along among that nutrients or among that values or you know I don't know I believe in a killer will I was as if I was a tomorrow me along with all among a married doll according to my own understanding is it results after consuming food which is not very qualitative or lack of nutrients When there was the outbreak of Berry Berry at the Mile 2 prisons, uh, was there an investigation by the health authorities to find out and determine what the causes of this Berry Berry was? During Berry Berry, Kurang Sembo or Takasokon, Jarakenda Bundala do Kulalu, Fo, Iman Kisikisir Kebang, Kajube, Munekata Daliloti, May and Kurang Sembo or Nikasola, Fo Mokisiroke. I said, Kerole, I can bury Mang a report of Makalamura. It could be that such an investigation took place, but I did not see any report to that effect. 
then how did they resolve the, 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 the crisis? Between in a tow cool la colea ying, bondino yadine. On very, very la colea ying. Coming out of what I'm very, very la colea nasale for almost a ninety seven, a twenty seventeen mahola. Oh, name prisoner Bessiri Wato meaning Nakaja Conolong, in other Kela Korea cool for Nakamisoto in Domoro Doldo. Co Eljana Kendia Jamabal from Bigate or Allah Naso Casabo Buola. So Naranga, Jeco, Coninkombe, Saperro Kalambe, but Roka, Kaduni, Haramadino and Yolevigero. I don't tell La Filangina, my legacy to get me along Kako, my Yela Wato in prison at Jamal Nangam Lefar and the Sonawala. So Mang approval button, Na instruction of the Walla Yamanko, a Jim Papo and Mudaya stop. A purpose of what we mean, and Kino Domoro will be to improve demanding, be Alhamdulillah. Tony Bafa Domoro Mandia, while I'm thinking, but it is a legacy prisoner day with that Fenconing complication. Just as I said earlier on, the problem of Bereberi uh, extended up to 2017. But like I told you earlier on, it was after I had a discussion with the prisoners, and they told me that. The disease they were contracting was as a result of the kind of food they were eating, like the pap. I made sure that I give instructions that the pap be stopped completely and ensure that the other types of food were a little bit improved. So now, thanks to God, you may say that the food is not very palatable, but there is no one that you can find in the prison with that kind of disease. In fact, I do not want to leave a legacy wherein people will say that, in fact, during uh, the, the tenure of Ansumana Mane, this number of prisoners died. The other question is in relation to your uh, term of office at the juvenile wing. In the Karlomu, you will tell me juvenile wing. What measures did you put in place to help the young offenders? be integrated into society after they left the prison. Ye mon fere le tamandi je pro dindingulu men yalon ko ke nati je wo dinding kasola pro nyin kamala ning itata an fo yela wato bang e findita kasola pro nyin kamala ni dun ta jama ko no e si yela makka ke mo ken dolti ye mon fere le ke pro ke makoy wo karola amira ay ko amanjeri fanjay wala murobi ka fan ko li I think they say it is not uh, necessary for one to praise himself. But during my, during my tenure at the juvenile wing, I had a collaboration with the YMCA, the CPA, Child Protection Alliance, as well as the Child Protection Alliance, and the UNICEF even with UNICEF. Prisoner ni ntol lenga kuma sege do kap tikel boni nang ni basic cycle do kanara kap prisoner muda ke karandi juvenile wing. We were the first to recruit and bring teachers from the basic cycle to come to the prison and teach this. Ono fana ya lango inga lango ide karango la fana nga mechisa haringo di la mi ya lango ni funti da bantai sira ifan na fano ala. But those that we notice would not be able to do well academically. We try to create skills training for them so that they could better. Uh, themselves and be independent when they get back to the community. There was one prisoner that I can recall whom we trained until he became a good tailor. And when he was uh, released to go home, we approached the YMCA. They gave him a sewing machine so that when he goes home, he will start his own business. That was where our intervention ended, but later on, social welfare took the case up to be visiting the child. And we signed it at the juvenile wing, the Department of Ministry of Basic Education, the construction of the ghetto. And today, if you go to the juvenile wing, there is a construction ongoing by the Ministry of Basic Education. I think one of the best classrooms in the country is the one that they are building there. All this is for the good of the young offenders who are there. So that they do not lose what they would have gained if they were outside of the prison system. Because it is the right of the child to have education. 
also took steps and sent our own officers to go to the Gambia College where they had their HTC qualifications. And we combined them with these teachers from the basic education department and they are now teaching the children. So all these things are happening now. Final question. It took the victimization of one officer. I can for officer killing Soton the Mantoro Lata Menkang. To put the whole prison services into silence. So can you please explain? Prison officer Yima. Which of the prison officers? No, you said one officer was victimized. Yeah, for co yeah, officer killing certain the mantoro lata menkan. Officer killing for one thing. Officer Jama Bale Dunta Mantoro Kuna e dol detain, e dol jufara, it was short the gele. I don't to mando janele paralegate albe yelegan de binalegan de fongle ba for fongle. It was not only one officer. There were several. Some were imprisoned, some were beaten. Perhaps before you end here, you'll have the chance to have them in front of you here to tell you their ordeals themselves. There's also one guy called Anabi Jame who is a relative of David uh, David Colley. David Colley and uh, this individual was in prison for nine months. Confinement under confinement. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you, um, Commissioner. You have partly answered my question, but only on the basis of the juvenile cases. For this commission, you told us that the prisons should be seen as a center for reforming people and for ensuring that you provide them with better lives when they leave the prisons. Mm -hmm. Now, ever since you became Commissioner General for the prisons, what programs have you put in place to ensure that you will cover not only the juveniles, but also all the adult world that is in that prison so that they can have better lives when they leave the prisons? Thank you. Can I answer it in English? Uh, I'm waiting for the interpretation. I'm just waiting for the interpretation, so I don't know. Yes, we had a change of interpretation, and uh, the interpreters, and uh, the, the, I think the, the message is lost to the interpreter. Perhaps it could be asked again. No, I, I got your point. Um, you know, it, it is translated into, uh, to me in English so that I can uh, speak in Mandinka. So that's what I'm waiting for. So I don't know whether you would like for me to speak in English or so. OK. Well, with regards to uh, the reforms, uh, the rehabilitation, uh, especially the skills training uh, we have since when I uh, came as the director of general of prisons, I think uh, that is not even a hidden thing. The moment you go, you enter the prisons, the first building you face during a Jammes time was a guard room for soldiers. Because previously, when you come to a mile two, the first thing you come into contact was soldiers. But when changes came, this new government came, the soldiers were asked to go back to their barracks. And the building, the facility was handed over to the prisons. So there, I also engage partners like Inside Training, Prison Fellowship International, and other well wishers. And we were uh, uh, given assistance. The guard room was torn to be a classroom now. We, we have in a, a, a make partitions in it so that we can have different lessons at, at, at a go. And I don't think it is even <coughs> something secret that it was after 2017 that we had prisoners 
learning skills inside the, uh, inside the uh, prisons and graduating with certificate, a recognized certificate from NACA. That started during my time. And it is ongoing. Presently, we have training almost 80 of the inmates in different skills, like uh, solar panel installation, electrical installation, plumbing, IT, basic IT, and even entrepreneurship by inside training. And very soon they will be graduating. So those are, few, those are the few that I could highlight about our programs of reformation. Thank you very much, um, uh, interpreters. Are we continuing in Mandinka, or uh, that's it for interpretation? Yes, I'm coming. Well, we are good. We, you okay? Yes, please. Oh, splendid. Uh, Imam, Imam, I see you have the floor, please. Jerejev. Nyulai nuyu de la Jerejev. Mon avery biri biri lai wak. Mm-hmm. Biri biri. Guru yu mongo indi. Guru yu mong, guru yu mongo duko indi. Ako ngin biri biri kuwa mea yika vote. Ako mono obu kasa abude. Le kabu gena bak buya la wache gana u mea uru yu mongo gena bak. Ako Allah ta'ala manzwa ya domoro men buwendi men domoro men kende yata. Na abode na keke la mono olem. Nyakasur, nyakasur mole na indil biri biri. Ako ikonora faabalia wale kanyi nkura wa sabi kafu me biri biri. Seleka bi modu, modu don doi. Ako ala domoro nyi wala buka sinu. Bili yegi sufe kende na seleka doi febar bobo lila dika chinyo. Hani nkabi mbe ntembe da mendota ning adara ala domoro nyi nga buka si. Kura wa nyi nga te fai abe kondine la ikane ron. Ali yu pasi ni chiko ukubi. Nyi sanji jama tambila ala santoro. Amona ayene kiri yi nga hamente na soo nyewe chisien gunei. Kanata suo dol kono nila tana ila dimbal ro. Nyaka de nyaka 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 amleka def dol indi lulu sen khali. Domo ro sato bali ya kanyin kuran sifal sabu ila dimbal ya tuan nila dimbal ro. So nyewe dega yi guni yu bori sen yaran bim nyu ngei nevi dega yu bulu pitan besono. Nyi tata lo e korda dol to santol to ika jela dimbal nyu balo be kata anu ika ralo pitan oto tanin na tanin na foi kabata. Nyaka leka mwoy indi lulu de man chili magis. Ako atela jero rae menji wale mjindi domo role nyi soto timma bali ya wale kanyi nkura ngom mesa wale si abu ima. Ala ufana sekeno wale bari ndola kisi kisiro to nga milo njero. That could be but by our own investigations and what we know. Nyi domo role fongo a Kenya, a dadanya a Kenya, tumando na nise wale faino utuma ka dadanya minno. Abalna le kafu koto ya domo amani domo domo ros kasi domo rosiri ngolong kato kwenye prison au prison ngele ana sumang ngolong hapo le baile ngenda asumana mina. Perhaps if I had explained to him the manner in which this food was prepared, then he would understand. Because each prisoner has a special allotment and there is an amount of food that is catered for each prisoner. Nundo nimpapo kadi la nyami nanga nanga falie. Before, let me tell you how this pap was prepared. Bila papo bidala. Bila papa wa bidhaa la bingi tili bulu. The pap is prepared, let's say today in the afternoon. Aye la kale roko no. And they will leave it to spend the night in the. So manda officer mimi bidhaa la mimi marta la. In the morning, the officer who comes and is in charge of the food. Mimi bidhaa la le fa bidhaa le kila kuna fa mimi na kila kuna muda ama. He will come and add either water or some other liquid and tear and stir it up. For a yolom. Until it loosens up. Then ya muda ya thala ya di prisoner. And then they will distribute it to the prisoners. So udara ni ada ma ada ma ada ma. I think I I I ni karosi le. So even the preparation on its own is having a big question mark. So ndefe adara ni alonga manke kafu kumi. Domoro si baliwa wanting. So for me, it's the manner in which it is prepared. It's not a question of not having enough. Thank you. Uh, yeah, Bishop, but, uh, you have the floor, please. Thank you, Chairman. Commissioner, Bishop. Bishop. Mm. Uh, Mr. Ansumana Mane. Mr. Ansumana Mane. Do you have um, rules concerning the diet of prisoners? Well, if you want to talk about the diet of prisoners, the prisoners are the prisoners. Rules bang for room. Rules. 
sartol sartol yalon ko be wala marta wala marta wala marta prison alla en be kasor ha na sartol ni ya asoro prison actuel to mi yalon ko menyulo mi yalon ko e nanale a prepare a be prison actuel ko no a prison actuel prison la loi de mi yalon ko tani wala the rules are there and they are derived from the prison act which was prepared by nana are they <coughs> excuse me are they being followed o sartul ni ka bulay no mala ba ka bulay wala no maten fo na ra falindiro ke dulalo do kar la ni sartul ni ko be no malten ko min pa po ten so manda so manda pa po ten ate ate be dialan fe we used to adhere to these rules until there was a change of government because we saw to it that if we followed the rules strictly it would not be good that ni prison ak ka min jibete ni amere ka ko ka bi 1954 lo bang ya ya review lastly the prison act which i am holding in my hand there was last reviewed in 1954 and in 54 demand ra kirin no in 1954 i wasn't alive so 1954 for la ko dinta ko mbono mala bi if i want to follow or to investigate an issue of 1954 jamano falinda times have changed ay demorol fo falinda if in the food that we consume have changed adu sadel ko rutum ka demoro mi kene sami ka dolye and if in the villages or in towns the the kind of food we used to consume then now you don't see them so 1954 la loi ni ko be wono hani bi so if you want to adhere to the rules of 1954 do abe abe koliala le it will be difficult in that case um do you make recommendation to government to improve the quality of the diet that is being given to prisoners silam wokono fo alto alkana na suru hero kele bang albe masa kunda ya marla menna pour ye bulawo silol no pour falindro dosike nyin kasola mol men be alanko be kasoro pour ila domro nyin abe falindo no la nyame ha nga kele president li sai sai ten coming off nya prison agri ba review kanne anno jani wo fango coming contract committee mi ala be interior ni nga na recommendation no samba gire kala moy lan ne ka do ko sai 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 no fanga mambo ji ama 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 menu serum serum tenda nyin nga recommendation ol do ke jido mi ala ko ya iso da fe mo la nga improvement ol jodi da daiso dol do Yes the prison act as i said earlier on is under review and also the contract committee uh, when we take our suggestions to them uh, they used to uh, listen to us in fact last year we made some suggestions which they accepted which led to the improvement in some of the diet that is currently being served at the prison do you allow food to come from at the homes of prisoners or those that are in remand fo alkason da bam pour do moroy bonam mané mol la mialon koy be kasada bu moroy mudaje fo ye soronde bam fo ila kiti yoni nga man man bam fo loy be tani na kan pour do moroy bonay la badi ngol ya kanati e kasodo je fal kaso wala ba mono be remand mon yalon ko ila kiti yo man ko si folo ka do moro ala wala e agara do moro tabiri mo those that are in remand who have not yet been convicted we used to allow food to come from their homes bari ngi ndol wa don ka kaydol genan ne ka boni nan clinic do ke recommend some fruits and in fact wala kan fruits wala wol e nka fenke le ka facilitate ya nga make so bari ngol ya say wala ni ndol fonga ma ndol fonga ngaso don sa say nga wol jama ba jama ba ke jele because sometimes they come with medical uh, papers recommending specific food and uh, therefore we used to allow them to have them through their families if we do not have it to give it to them in one of the testimonies we had here um somebody complained that the food that was brought for him by his family members were consumed by the prison officers na seria ndiro do so rajan mola je me alon ko e seria ndiro di jan ko wato men na be muto ko no e kasila bungoto e do moro men ka baye ala mola karo la ka nata e kasila bungoto e ni anata e kasila do kulal ni wala ke muna fanga do moro nyinna ah nte nte balana no ala nak bari makala mo nte balana no wala ase ke no le kadu ko duniya ko no nal ka furanyo kan jidal kam wosi fa bele soro i cannot dispute that ko ko ete be ete be mol be kila ko itul mo e be mol be fen kila ka ko wosi fa kilingol non to mando dol bi geto isa ke no le bari makala mo da i cannot dispute that even though i am unaware of such a thing happening because wherever you have different people you have different types of behaviors it could be that there are some individuals who might have engaged 
themselves in such activity. Finally, um, when we visited the uh, juvenile wing at uh, Joshua Prison, we met um, young people the ages from 13 up to 18. And uh, they've been there for quite some months without, you know, their situation being taken to court. And we aim for Jeco, it are Jeco, Casuraje for what young and we samba Kitty Mora. And if the prison is a place of house of correction. <coughs> Um, uh, for the young people of that tender age to be kept in the juvenile wing for that long, um, it's not to their advantage, and it's also not to the advantage of the nation. And I think that, in fact, was our problem. Overcrowding, Because this overcrowding, overcrowding that we usually hear. Prison, Prison, we do. We are not the ones that arrest people. We are only custodians. Whosoever is brought in, we will keep you. In the talk about how many new ways and for how many things to link, for how many silos to link, CJ office, CJ office, or something. Me na ke kalamuta ni katani la kujim prisoner bigan na fanyi wasi nangam. If your time for to appear before a competent court of law is as a lapse, we also have a mechanism through which we will write to the chief justice. That is usually the cause for the overcrowding because the amount of prisoners that come in, the same number does not go out to face the courts. So if I get a call, eh, ma mira intol 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 ka bulu to intol ka bulu masro ko to wole ngiti ka kalamutan diro ke monuke na fena giro ko ah ali ni molmin na fena bini ala halol dojan anu ngamira ka wakele. So we do not have uh, a, a a lot of uh, influence in in that what we can do is to inform the people that bring those people in that they are getting too many and uh, something needs to be done about their cases uh, thank you very much um, uh, mr mane if you have any concluding remarks to make please proceed to do so now Barakabaka, Mr. Mane, Silan Kiaman, coming for Olam Yintuko, near Kumasodo, Belafagela Kumoda Zoromena, is it in ten? Mr. Chair, before he takes the floor, I just wish to remind that he had given an undertaking to give us a memorandum on institutional reform. He can factor that in mind. No Thank problem. you. Okay. Yeah, and na kumu be kila ya mama mera be siyala kaduko na ni ni karoko nonga kumaja mafu kido mi alon kuni ni ishonyo kanga se keno kule timi alon kwa se kena statement odi. My statement is not going to be long because I have spoken on many issues during my testimony, and I think if I can pinpoint certain salient points from that testimony, I would. Should be able to make a concluding remark. But I want to remind all that. Kaso mo mangena kaso ako 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 No one should turn their backs to the prison. Because there are three places in this world. Nobody takes the other there. Kaso prison. Levitan. The hospital. And in kaburo and the grave. It is God that takes people to these places. Nobody would pray to spend their entire life in a prison. So by the banko be tarla kerine you will never find any country in this world without prisons. So it should be our responsibility to empower the prison. 
alka kaso la kaso bunko kaso dunke wala alka wala la bataje sometimes it is only the hardships that the prisoners face which you see but even us the prison officers we are also undergoing or, or going through the same hardships be dani ro kelangi la manke masakunda da madika du masata be kelano i want to make a plea and uh, this is not only to the government because the government cannot do everything mo mo ya lon ko isa fero so no wala ya ya afere so to ise na kaso muta nga kaso ma ko nga kaso samba nya da tal da mindo anyone that has the means or the wherewithal to give assistance so that we are able to manage our prisons in the best way possible nga mera wala kuma ya raka do ko e gani be tala lori bande gande be kaso la ko kaja fila e de gande mi rela le ngam ne contribute pour que kaso muda ka sambani to that level i think that is uh, what is important before you stand outside and begin to criticize the prison prison system first off you should ask yourself what contribution have i made to the improvement of the prison system alhamdulillah nga je say mol be dan kun kana thanks be to god now we see that a number of people are responding organisation lol binane be prison muda le ba support la organizations are coming and extending assistance to the prison amame bcci bcci ye boso di prison la they donated a bus to the prison o pro official ning prisonal bele sambarangolong and this bus will uh, transport both officers and Kata prisoners amamo kumpan wotu mo ngotu mo prison officer ka fo e kom bulu kal e bulu balle jam fara no maralti no it did not surprise anyone at that time it was said that our right hands were longer than our left hands femo sabu ko lift down on kawda malelo nothing was the cause of that except the fact that we constantly had to beg for rights and the state institution along ko oda fenkol benyamin and this is a state institution just as others nsa singa mira ning prison man so police wala do ko na fale let's think about this if there is no prison then what is the importance of the work of the police nya ye police so le keri be be e be jikirin kula prison le be keri kadu prison le the last thing ko the last point of thing ko di if there are police officers it's because there is a prison otherwise there will be no use for the police to exist so nga me ra ni nga police so mbentu ya nga prison fana ma ko nga ta i think if we empower the police we should also give assistance to the prison uh department so that we can move along religious institutional and any other organization for na for na bulo so to for the prison zema the religious institutions and other bodies have a responsibility to assist the prisons karama meta ra gana on a study tour because not long ago i went to ghana on a study tour nga ta ra gedo prison kutal lulu i found five new prisons eh pentecost church be wala local prisons here mi alko guma sakunda ma dake je fa and these were been built by the pentecostal churches and without the uh, any uh, involvement of the government mfana se o kendo gene ba gambia do yata we too can do that here since our country is small kadu ni ndara ni be sirina counterpart ni ni be sirin be na statistics fokan because when i sit with my counterparts and we discuss our statistics ni ngi ni kan do la prison population wala when they ask me about our prison population ni ngoy ko ngal kaso sabala so do gambia ko no if i tell them that we have three prisons in the in the gambia but kaso sabol be among na prisoner in be ba ko na man taw wi likili si but if i tell them that uh, all these three prisoners uh, do not have even up to 1000 inmates e ka jele they used to love ka do ko munon na prison population be do rinyaming because of the low level of our prison population banko do prison kilo da ma da ma da ma ka men so do ka tale for 10000 plus in some countries a prison can hold up to 10000 inmates so ni wali o manek non do lañi 1000 inmates ul mamira o maro ñenta ko yalla mbulu and if those people are able to manage their prison number inmate numbers we too should be able to do the same so even that be, our number is small me wala dani la pour be nga kafu so this is my plea e fanal bela nga kafu nga kaso muta nga ma ko e pro nyanta min fin kala kaso nyanta lo la nyami ngai lo nyama e bagela ko kadu kaso re bayla let's unite and collaborate and uh, ensure that the prison is uh, handled the way it's supposed to be nga mol gele muni ala ko mo kende bal we have seen ya ijatha ni kaso lale great people here who who have had a stint in the prison a bela hada mayati nya fenna Amira hanam amira hanam ayati kafena karo alala langino le siyero 
that happened because of god's will but amanya na kelo nyama kati condition no mindera kaso ko na amanya na tarlo nyama no but it shouldn't be like that because the condition they found in the prison should not be that way so say no being in the kafula nyama nga nyu fasa nga gambia e kaso de ma purum falanga e futa level of dami along ko e dunia mo sina na ni na story to la gento this is the time that we should unite and come together and give assistance to the prison so that uh, it gets to where it ought to be what used to happen at the prisons we are all aware of i can say here in the gambia if you are arrested by the government anyone behind you they are all your relatives but if you start hand picking your relatives amongst the people you will have failure and that failure is what was the was uh, what david got and even if he, if he were here i would say the same because personally the kind of advice i used to give him god is my witness so so i will uh, stop my statement here uh, what has happened has happened let's look forward to a new gambia a gambia which will be an inspiration for the rest of the world that is what i have to say to all thank you uh, thank you very much indeed um, uh, mr mane uh, for coming before the uh, the commission today uh, i hope your testimony would assist us in the formulation of our recommendations on uh, institutional reforms and including the prisons. Again, thank you so much, Emma, for coming to testify before the Commission. Thank you. And uh, this brings us to the end of the day. We will resume our proceedings tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. Thank you all very much. Meetings thank adjourned. You. Yeah.